Hi, I'm Marina with Lip Maps, here to share with you our top suggestions for how to save time during your literature review. Now there's a lot of videos and resources online about doing literature reviews really fast or how to do a literature review in five minutes, but actually a lot of the information out there can be a little bit misleading. For example, I recently saw a video suggesting that you can take the abstracts or introductions of different papers and copy and paste them into a single document to give an overview of the topic. But this doesn't really make sense, because if you're reviewing the literature, as the literature review implies, then you really need to actually read the papers you're reviewing in detail. What this comes down to is that you can absolutely save time and do things faster, but you need to automate the right parts of the process to ensure you're actually doing a really high quality review. That's exactly what we're gonna go over in this video, how to save tons of time while not losing any quality or integrity in your work. The first step to saving time in your literature review is speeding up how you search for papers. So when you're starting to search for literature on your topic, you can quickly get overwhelmed and spend a ton of time looking through the hundreds or thousands of articles on your topic. This is the very first step that it's essential to automate, especially in this world where we're getting more and more scientific publications every year. So here's exactly how we can start targeting our search and finding the most relevant papers as quickly as possible using this online tool, LitMaps. To get started, hop onto the LitMaps app and set up a free account. Next, you can start searching for your research topic. LitMaps searches based on connection. So my idea here is just to find at least one relevant paper on my topic, and from there, start exploring the research field. Here's a relevant paper on my topic, so I'll go ahead and click Explore Related Articles. Now I can dive into my topic using this article as an introduction point and reviewing all of the articles that are interconnected to this one. The dark gray dot here represents my original input article, and all of these hollow dots are other article suggestions based on how interconnected they are to my original article. You can click on the articles on the map itself to see their details or review them by going through them in the sidebar. If the article is relevant to your topic, then the best thing to do is to click more like this under that article's title. This not only adds the article to your map, but it also makes it so that you can rerun your search with both of these articles as search inputs. You can continue to do this iteratively, reviewing articles, taking notes, and clicking more like this to slowly grow your map with all the relevant literature on your topic. Now you've learned how to save time when starting a literature review and looking for that initial set of papers on your topic, but you can also continue to save time by ensuring that as you continue to search and grow your literature library, you're always focusing on the most relevant papers. It comes down to really targeting your results. Here's what that looks like. I've grown that lit map we were using in the last step with all the relevant literature on my topic by using the more like this button. So now I have all these articles in my current literature review. Now I'd really like to target my search and start looking at specific subtopics and niches. To do that, I'll use lit maps filters. I can select what kind of results lit maps will return based on their date of publication, specific keywords, authors, and journals. How you filter your results will depend heavily on your kind of literature review, but in this case, I wanna try and focus on more recent work that's more relevant to my topic. So I'll use a specific date range and keywords relevant to my topic. Lastly, to really cut down on noise, I'm going to focus my results only on articles that come out of really high impact journals. So in the SJR quartiles filter, I'll remove two, three, and four, and focus just on articles that come out of journals from the quartile one. The articles on the outside of the ring are again article suggestions, and they're interconnected to my original set of input articles. But the difference is now they're all limited based on the filters I've passed in, and they're much more relevant to the specific kind of research I'm looking at. So staying organized sounds like kind of a nice to have and not an essential part of a literature review, but actually, if you stay very organized throughout your process, you will save hours when it comes time to writing and citing all of your work. I'll show you exactly how we can do that using the LitMaps visualization and organizational features. In order to stay organized in your literature review, you can use LitMaps tags to categorize and organize all the articles you keep track of. 
To give an article a tag, simply click on that article. Here, you can give different categories based on the kind of article, perhaps it's theory or methods paper, or on the different subtopics that you're reviewing. Tags will automatically color your articles and make it easy to distinguish different kinds of papers on your lip map. If you keep up with the tagging, you'll eventually get a lip map that looks something like this. All of my articles have a color based on what tag they sit in, and on the far left side of the app, I can see all of my tags listed. Using tags also helps me actually see how different subtopics in my field connect. When it comes time to writing up your final literature review, you can use the lip map and its articles in your final work. To export all of your articles, simply click articles at the top right and hit export all. You can also include an image of the actual map in your final work. Use the screenshot icon at the bottom right of the screen to ensure you get the best quality image. More and more often, we see researchers including lip maps in their final publications. You can check the video description on more information on how to cite lip maps in your published work. We've now covered how you can save time throughout your literature review without losing any integrity or quality of your work. Leave us any questions or comments below and check out the description for additional resources that can help you in your research. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you on the app.